this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie news <laughs> in the state of Hawaii. And uh, yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. Um, and uh, today I'm not going to go ahead and review a movie or a TV show. Um, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that uh, after about three years, oh, also I wanted to wish you guys also a happy new year. So happy new year, 2019. Uh, coming up in February, the year of the pig uh, for the Chinese new year. Um, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about Movie Pass. And uh, for some of you guys, you guys have known that I have been a loyal subscriber of Movie Pass for the last three years. Um, gosh, and I, I had loved it, and I am one of the reasons that it had gone through so much trouble uh, because I had gotten it, and I was pretty much trying to see a movie every day, at least three movies a week. So, you know, anywhere from nine to 12 movies a month. Uh, I am one of the people who, who basically got it into the trouble that it is now. But, you know, that's what they offered for a low price of $10, $20 a month. You could see unlimited movies during the month. Uh, you know, of course, they were only normal, standard 2D movies, no IMAX, no 3D. Although at times you could purchase a ticket for that and then just pay the difference. Uh, but, you know, as anyone who had gone Movie Pass knows that, you know, new restrictions uh, came up without any, uh, you know, information or forewarning uh, at times. Uh, the most new one, uh, the most one with uh, that annoyed me the most, I guess, was that you had to take a picture of the the ticket you were purchasing, which meant that you couldn't do 3D, that you couldn't do IMAX and pay the difference because you would take a picture and it wouldn't be the movie, or at least the format of the movie, that you had said you were going to see through your app on MoviePass. Um, I know a lot of people there had, uh, you know, one or two of you, I think, had actually went ahead and gotten MoviePass. Uh, you know, and for most of those three years, at least two years, it was it was pretty strong and, and it was working without a flaw. There would be certain days that it wouldn't work but, or the app would go down, but usually they would fix it up within a week. Uh, but however, in 2018, it really, especially during the summer, uh, it really bogged down. Um, and due to certain policies that MoviePass had done, uh, basically they were only restricting you to see particular movies, maybe one certain movie a day, uh, you know, uh, and a max of three movies a month. Um, you might have a selection of two movies, but then, you know, sometimes they were religious movies, sometimes they were the movies that you knew were bad from the trailers. Um, the workaround for that, though, was that if you could get to the theater in time for it to still be available for the showings, since they were not any longer doing the you have to take a picture of your ticket, if you were lucky enough to reach the theater and show that there were still tickets available, you could select whatever movie they wanted you to see, go see a different movie by buying that ticket because they wouldn't prove you know, they didn't want any proof that you'd seen the movie that they wanted. Thus, you were still happy. You were still watching your movie. However, the last time I had used my movie pass uh, card was back in November, uh, just after Thanksgiving, uh, before it kind of died out again. And, uh, you know, all through 2018, um, the movie pass company had gone through bankruptcy several times. Uh, difficulty getting money to pay for the tickets that their customers were purchasing, um, you know, and which is why they started restricting the movies or attempting to restrict the movies that you could see, uh, apparently only pying as much tickets, you know, to those certain movies. 
so that by the time maybe, you know, you would look in the morning, you would see that, oh, okay, there's a showing at one theater for this one movie that they're offering. Um, so you would get to the theater in the afternoon, in the evening, but by the time you got there to select it, the app would say there are no more uh, available screenings for that movie, which meant you would have to pay out of pocket or just turn around and go back home. Uh, fortunately, during my three years of movie pass, I had built up 200,000 regal points. <laughs> I was trying to get to a million, but, uh, you know, they started to expire. So, uh, so fortunately, I was able to use those to kind of supplement the days that movie pass crapped out on me <clears throat> and still go see the movie that I wanted to see. Um, however, I knew that the days of movie pass were numbered. Uh, and so here in December, basically, I canceled my order. Also in 2018, people who had canceled or attempted to cancel, one, they couldn't get a hold of anybody to cancel it. They would click on cancel on the app and uh, it wouldn't work for them. They would still be getting a bill through their credit card <coughs> every month, uh, which is just dirty pool in my books. And uh, basically, they had to go fight movie pass to, to finally cancel their orders. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, since the credit card I had signed up for uh, to be charged yearly and my year was coming up, my credit card had expired and I was sent out a new credit card, you know, as you are by your credit card companies. Uh, but it, of course it had a different date on it. Thus, MoviePass couldn't no longer charge the card that they had for me on file because it had a different expiration date on the year. And I did not give them that information, so therefore my account is now canceled with MoviePass as of December 2018. Um, that being said, uh, you know, I hope uh, that if you've gone through MoviePass, uh, if you're still having difficulty, that you're able to cancel. Uh, you might have to call your credit card company and just you know, tell them to totally take it off your billing. Um, and from what I hear, you know, you're now limited to three movies a month and there's going to be new plateaus of, you know, to, to get particular types of movie, like anywhere from like $8 to $15 to maybe $30 a month, uh, depending on the type of movies that you want to see, um, you know, where you live, um, you know, and that seems like a really, really a lot of hassle for, uh, for a service that has had difficulty and lost, you know, good faith in a lot of their customers' eyes. I, for one, did not want to risk it. So I went ahead and I signed up for a different movie, uh, a subscription called Cinemia. Now, you can look for that on your Android phone, or you can go to Cinemia, that's with an S uh, instead of a C, Cinemia.com, uh, or go to the Play Store on Google and, uh, you know, for your phone, and look up Cinemia, and it'll, you know, you'll be able to download the app, or at least read up on it. And uh, essentially, it's exactly what MoviePass... Um, is now starting to do it gives you levels like eight dollars a month for one movie uh actually well yeah eight dollars a month uh for one movie a month um you know could go like uh fifteen dollars a month uh and then you could get um i believe 2d and 3d uh for two movies a month or what I've got, which was the Elite, or at the time it was called Premium. Now I think they've just called it the Elite. Uh, whereas you can see 3D, IMAX, basically any format, the Atmos uh, over at Ward, uh, or Consolidated, uh, which is basically their version of the IMAX uh, over at Regal, um, for, uh, you know, about $20 a month. And right now, I think for the new year, this month of January, they're offering some specials. So if you wanted to get in on a low price, this is the time to do it. I'm not sponsored by, by Cinemia, but if they'd like to throw me some movies or some free movies or some money, I, I won't complain. 
Um, but it, it's been working out for me. There's been a couple of times that the app kind of has gone down, but they're fairly quick to fix it within a week. Uh, like MoviePass, it's difficult to get a hold of anybody. You have to send them an email. There is no phone number. There is one phone number I found online for Cinemia. However, it is just to their billing department and they don't usually handle anything um, with uh, the use of the app if the, the app is broken or if you can't seem to access the movie that you want to select. Uh, the biggest thing with it is that it's cardless, although if you want a card, you can order a card for extra. Um, you know, uh, that way you can just go to the movie theater, show your credit card, which is basically what it will be, just like Movie Pass, and purchase your ticket at the box office. Other than that, you have to use your phone and use one of the many online movie purchasing apps, say like uh, Fandango or even, you know, the Regal app, AMCA app. Uh, for it to purchase an advance ticket or the ticket right there at the box office and then you'll get a screen picture to show that you purchased a ticket and you can just check in at the box office with that and then they'll give you your paper ticket. Um, the only problem with that that they don't tell you on the website uh, through Cinemia or even on the app is that all that is an additional fee to your monthly subscription. That's what I was very disappointed with. And I thought at least they should tell you that. And, and if you go the Cinemia route, I want to warn you. It's usually like a dollar or, you know, it's usually like a dollar, maybe two dollars per ticket because you're using an, an outside app, another app, you know, for the convenience of purchasing an advanced ticket, which I have done just to get a, a good seat for say like Aquaman, uh, you know, weeks in advance. Um, you know, same thing with Spider-Man. Um, so it is a little bit more convenience, but you pay for that convenience of $2 extra onto the card, the credit card, that you already set up your monthly payments to. Um, so, you know, those kind of hidden fees I wasn't very happy with, and I had discussed that in various emails with Cinemia, that they should have at least warned people about them, but even checking the website before filming this, um, I did not see that they had started to mention any of that. So just, you know, kind of buyer beware. Uh, however, if you do purchase the card and you just buy your ticket at the, uh, you know, if you purchase the credit card, um, you know, uh, through your other credit card, you know, your monthly amount, they'll send you a card just like MoviePass that you can uh, go fee-free at the uh, box office. But again, if you're going to use that card for an advanced ticket, uh, you know, for a future screening to reserve a good seat, you're still going to end up to pay that dollar, that two dollars, you know, is going to show up on your other credit card where you get charged yearly or monthly for your Cinemia. And it'll be like movie expenses or something like that on your statement. Uh, so, you know, just to go ahead and warn you about that. Uh, but that's what I'm doing, and I've been fairly happy with Cinemia for the most part. Um, you know, especially since Movie Pass has, at least for me, bit the dust. And if it's not going to you know, if you've been having trouble with it, I just wanted to let you know that there are other options, especially, you know, seemingly to be the similar options that Movie Pass is moving towards now. So, you know, you might want to go with something more tried and true like Cinemia than the hidden miss Movie Pass that really seems to be going the way of the dinosaur. All right, thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man. Live once again here in Hawaii on Oahu. Um, just letting you know that there are other options available for true movie fanatic and fans. Uh, and also the good thing with Cinemia is that, you know, through the same site when you're ordering advanced tickets, uh, you can purchase other additional tickets for the rest of your family. You don't have to whip out the other card 
because it'll just, you know, your ticket will be free, one of the three, one of the one, one of the two, depending on what level of Cinemia you signed up for, and your monthly bill, or your yearly bill, uh, you know, you can say, oh, okay, I'll get one more ticket for my wife and another for my child, um, you know, through an advanced ticket or even at the box office. And those, you don't have to whip out another card. It'll automatically be charged to your credit card on file through Cinemia. Uh, so again, just another added convenience that you don't have to rifle through for all these different cards. If you want to take, uh, you know, multiple people with you uh, to the movies. All right. Thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man saying aloha and happy new year.